Okay, Coach Freed, first off, are you going to eat that sandwich? Yes, you see, you see you walking around the sandwich? Yes, and I, my friend. And I bet, I've been holding that. You got like a couple a bites out of it. a sandwich made by my friend of mine who actually took the time to... Cut, to, the, cut the crust off and make, everything? No, I didn't cut the crust off. Because make the sandwich for me <laughs> and put it in his cooler during the day and bring it all the way down here. That's awesome. Okay. Yeah, that's it. I, Let's talk about training. Okay. Let's talk about training right. kids because okay. that's what you're doing for a living now. Right. You talked about being a lawyer. Why yeah. you left the, 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 the legal yeah. practice? Yeah. I didn't, crazy leave, I didn't leave the day that thing happened, but you know that some guy tried to run it, you down. It really, it really got to my conscience. You know, some like, guy tried to run you down. No, he tried to run me. He was just so drunk. He, was he drunk. didn't see me. Yeah. Wow. And, and that's what the guys were you were defending. And I, and you kind of just like. And you were well, done. I mean, there's other areas to practice, but it's you know, it it it, it knocked me back on my heels. Like, and you were done. Thinking. No, I, I wasn't done for that. But you I wanted to left be done. practicing there because. I had to move back home when my my mother actually got sick, so I I had to leave my job. That that had that incident or whatever had happened around in Chicago to come home and take care of my mom. Cleveland she area. Passed away. Yeah. University Heights. Yeah. Okay. So well, Beachwood at the time. Beachwood at the time. Okay. So you, you look at that. It's a life changing event. You know, you come home for family reasons. Yeah. You're back into wrestling. It's like the mob. You can't get out of it. Right. It's it's crazy because you you moved on essentially. But not essentially. Kind of, but not kind of, right? You never move on. I mean, this is the greatest place in the world. I mean, the the local wrestling tournaments is like a form of non-religious church for like people. I agree with that. Keeps you normal, keeps you grounded. You see the kids grow. You see them cheer. You see them cry. You know, you see all, all sorts of stories going on at the same time in this environment where everybody just learns what the truth is for the day. Did you work hard enough up to today? Did you try hard enough during the day? And you know, you got your result already today. So you have feedback to go back to the to the practice room and figure it out again. It's just, a, it's like, you know, one of the, one of the beautiful things about about uh, life is, is wrestling, the actual wrestling specifically. Okay, so when we talk about wrestling, I talk about how great of a wrestling mind you have. You know, it's like the, the amount that's just going through there. There's a lot going through there, right? There's a lot. You Maybe. watch match, you know, match management, yeah. positions, yeah. you know, top, bottom, neutral, freestyle, Greco. You're thinking about all of it all the time, and you're coaching youth kids now. You know, Dolph's here. Yeah. Dolph's coaching youth kids now. You guys are like, you guys were, you know, guys who were U.S. national team members, at least, you know, on the ladder, right? Like guys who could challenge to get the Olympic spot. Yeah. Both NCAA champs. I look at you know, is it hard to come down levels? No, no. And coach kids? No, once you know, once you've had your moments of glory and pain, you know, in the spotlight. If you, even if you haven't had any moments like that, but no, it, it's it's not doesn't it's not going down at all. Like I don't need to be at the the uh, great. I can't think of it. You're Regan right I now. I don't need it. Well, I, yeah, that'd be nice. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to be at like some big glorious tournament where the whole country's going to watch me. I mean, you've, you've done it. It's, you know, you know what it is. The reward, it's rewarding. It's a great thing. But it's, it's you know, it's, uh, it, you got to be able to chuck it away because it's going to happen. Only, you're going to have that moment a couple of times in your life, maybe half a dozen if you're lucky or more, you know. Okay. You know, a moment of glory, and then come down here and and, and uh, I mean, I just love it. I mean, I personally, I don't have have kids of my own yet. You know, I haven't gotten married. Don't have don't have kids yet. But uh, this is like, uh, you know, keeps me keeps me topped off as far as like seeing where the kids are and telling my friends' kids and stuff like that. But otherwise, I probably wouldn't hardly see anybody if I didn't come to the wrestling tournaments. Okay, so one of the greatest college rivalries, in my opinion. It's you and Tom Rantz. Yeah. How many times did you and Tom Russell in college? In college, uh, seven. Seven times. What's your total record against him? With college and everything. Three and seven. You're three and seven against Tom. But but I don't think a lot of people pin Tom Rantz. No. Right? You've pinned Tom Rantz. Yeah. But when you look at that, and now that those guys are icons in the sport, right? Are you still like cowboy pride? Just uh, like Iowa, how is how is how does that play out? And do you ever see those guys? I see. Yeah, I, I have so many. It's a, it's a, even though the Iowa and Oklahoma State's kind of like on the during our time, especially it was kind of like the one and two, you know, opposites. You know, we were each other's enemies. It's a small community, and I mean, as far as I'm concerned, like if if I hadn't gone to Oklahoma State, I would have probably went and been teammates with the same guys that I ended up competing with, 
you know, brands and, and other people included. So I look at it just like, they're just good guys that trained at a different place. You know, that I, I don't know. It's crazy to think about it though, right? No, it, I don't know. Like, I think that there's just no, there's no competition between the, the, the grown-ups, the real grown-ups that are over it. When you know where where you're just here to help other people get better, and um, it was a great rivalry. Can we agree oh, on that? A, yeah, it was a great it was a great rivalry, and he and I have an absolute uh, more respect for him than people can think. They think that we're like enemies or something, but it's not like that at all. When he was wrestling, you know, his Olympic gold medal match, I wa I was I would probably wanted everybody. I know he was already a world champion from '93. But most people don't know that, you know, like most people in the general public don't know that because I always had to deal with like, why is this guy so tough? Like, you know, you can beat everybody, but you know, you, but you have trouble with this one guy. And I try to, I tell people like, do you notice that other people are having trouble with him too? It's not just me. That's why he keeps ending up in the finals, you know, me and him at these tournaments. And so I kind of lost my train of thought, but when he wrestled his 96 gold medal match, I mean, I was on my couch here and just like rising up off the couch, you know, as a, 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 trying to, as a fan for him to win. I wanted him to win, not just for the country, definitely for the country, for himself. But it, I mean, it kind of like, uh, people kind of get off my back when I say, yeah, the guy you're talking about actually ended up being an Olympic champ. So like, but he was your obstacle. He was like, you're out. He was a lot of guys' obstacles, well, right? Yeah. Oh, he was. The, yeah. He was everybody. Whoever's the gold medalist is everybody else's <laughs> That's obstacle. That's true, right? And, uh, okay, so just one quick thing. I know that there, there's right. some crossover. There's a crossover. Ray Brinzer. In talking to you, I, I get a, a lot of Ray Brinzer vibe from you. Oh, well, God. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So hold on. Yeah. Hold on. He's a crossover. He's an Oklahoma State. Yeah. Then, and it was your era. Yeah. Do you know that guy? I know Ray, yeah, I met Ray when I was a 16 on the junior world team. So you guys are we two went crazy Austin. smart guys. Uh, I don't know, I don't know, who, yeah, we know each other. <laughs> <a lot. laughs> but like, I, I get the, the same vibe I get from oh, Ray yeah. when I talk to Ray when I talk to you. Yeah, we were good friends, actually. Yeah. Oh, you were? Yeah, we I got along that. really well. Yeah. I like Ray. Ray's a good I haven't dude. talked to him in a long time, but I... You think yeah, he's in New York City? He was. I loved Ray. I didn't want him to leave, but he... Um, I love that guy. Kinda, I was glad he was at Oklahoma State when he was there for a couple of years. Why do we have such eccentric people in wrestling? You being one of them. I don't think we do. Uh, you're a very I mean, you're eccentric guy. You're a smart Brinzer. guy. I'm not, I don't think I'm eccentric. Uh, and Ray Brinzer's like, that's not that eccentric. I mean, like, we have really, really straight-laced, like, like, just soldier type people in wrestling. Got a lot of that. Yeah, you know what I mean. And that's the kind of people that I, I I gravitated towards. My dad was in the army and. Really? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So so we've got all these people. Speaking of OAC, this this organization that runs these tournaments. Yeah. They're kind of like soldiers like that. Yeah. They kind of like run like these just top notch events. What do you think when you bring your kids to an event like this? This is like. The top I think, of the I'm, I'm really glad that they have they have the, something nice like this for the kids now, which they didn't really have when I was a kid. <laughs> they didn't have a beautiful tournament with you know it's all they treated basically like the high school state tournament with the you know the the, the, the glitz and the glamour of the what, what you get in a wrestling tournament. Yeah, right. So I'm glad that they have that for little kids now, and I, I didn't get to have it. I we used to have to go to Pennsylvania to wrestle in their state tournament, so that's what really? I did. Yeah, I would. I would, went to Pennsylvania for 6th, 7th, and 8th grade to wrestle in their middle school state tournament. Okay, last thing, and i got to let you go coach kids. Okay, I almost cheated you out of a match. No, I... Last right. thing. Where are the Miller boys? Where are they going to be training underneath Alan Freed at? Where are they... How do I get my sons involved? Oh, you have and, and, sons? And I have two sons. How do they get involved oh. with Alan Freed training? I mean, we're not from Oak Harbor. We're probably not going to do the Oak Harbor thing. Well, I, how, do, how do we get... How are you available to coach? I will be holding camps. Uh, my, my, my finishing... Well, leg attack finishing... I call it finishing school camps in uh, April and October this summer down at the, the farm in Marion, Ohio. And uh, those April 12th, 13th, 14th, you can check that out at freedwrestling.com. You could also check sunsetsportscamp.com and uh, those two places. And you'll find my two weekend camps coming up and then we'll be also holding practice. We, you know, CVCA is where I hold practice that's for where, that's where practice the Ohio are. Elite, which 
which is which we kind of we practice sometimes with two one six at Western Reserve. Maybe I should make this a little more clear. How, what should I say? CVCA. CVCA. CVCA You'll be able to work. find me at CVCA. CVCA. Monday, right across from Walsh. Monday, Wednesday, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then on Friday night we have the Friday night live brawl where we go about two hours. I teach for about 30, 35 minutes after the warm up, and we wrestle live for about an hour and 20 minutes on Friday. And we had about 45 kids there last week, so. Nice. That's so that's good. where the Miller boys can, can find it. They can come to CVCA, yeah. Wyoga Lake Road, uh -huh. Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio. Uh -huh. That's where we can be. And then my camps, freewrestling.com. I might even be at those. Okay. I might even be at those. We might they're be weekend some... camps, and they're, 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 they're a lot of fun, and you'll learn a lot. I, I, I may try to make time for every single kid and make sure everybody improves during my camps. It's not a lot of live wrestling, it's a lot of strategy and technique and uh, a lot of variety. All right, you got some coaching to do. You got anything else for me? Uh, no, I think we covered it all. You know, I just want, I want to say that, uh, you know, people talk about that rivalry with uh, brands and me and I love that it. stuff. Yeah, uh, but the truth is I would have loved to be teammates with both of those guys. You know, they had both the Branzas and the Steiners, so two sets of identical twins in Iowa. And it was all, they were all in succession. Yeah. In succession. From 18 to 42, or 26 to... Would you have cut weight? Like, you're the type of guy who would cut your arm off to make a weight, it felt like. Uh, would you have done it? Would I don't know. Gone any way I, you I, I, there was no way. I don't know. I, I would have, no matter what I would have done, I would have, I would have had to wrestle off a, another NCAA champion, which I kind of also I had to do at Oklahoma State anyway, but, you know. I had to wrestle off the guy who was third in the country when I was a freshman, who was a, who was a freshman who was third in the country, but but uh, it didn't work out that way, and you know us being teammates, but I, I'm I'm jealous that they had each other as twin brothers all that time, because I had a brother too, but he was older and he wasn't a twin, and they just just to have a drill partner to be that obsessed with wrestling and yeah. and just built-in drill partner work yeah built-in drill partner that's just your mirror image that you can hate and love and <laughs> I, that, I believe that was their edge and they exploited that edge and they're and that, that's that's where they get my respect all right you got coaching dude thanks for yeah. the time i appreciate it Alan. all right